What is going on, people? Welcome back. Johnny here, and we are playing the Racial Harmony Space Race. Wallace went around and bashed everything up because he's a bunghole. Greg is busting his butt taking stuff apart for us so we have more materials, as are most of the rest of the crew. And otherwise, things are going all right. What in the hell is that? That is a dead tortoise that we didn't get. That's unfortunate because we're going to be hungry. Although our rice should be getting close by now, 61%. Where the hell are you going? Ah, good. So our haulers are doing their job. So I think our next focus is just get everything taken apart and get all the supplies brought over. Trying to put the wood inside. Let's expand this zone a bit so we have more space to see what we have to work with. There's summer on. Temperature is 56 degrees indoors. Why does it say it's outdoors? Did somebody... Oh, shit, because our door got smashed. <laughs> All right, hold on a sec. Grack. Grack. Do me a solid, partner. I don't... They won't walk through blueprints. You see that? <laughs> That's weird. All right, so it should warm up because they have a fire going. But anyways, we'll keep ripping stuff apart. See what we can gather. Ooh, I missed one. Gather in terms of material. And if anything exciting, like the first raid goes down in the meantime... I'll be back. Now, no idea if we're going to survive these raids, considering some of the weapons that some of these pawns may have. Wallace, you son of a bitch. Not a sign of You're a sign of destructing, but not, not constructing. But regardless, we have a ton of meals now. We've plundered all the wildlife off the map. So we have no option in that regard. We've managed to scab together four... Ugh... Not great. Four medicines only. I oh, will get there. These meals are probably going to rot too. Oh yeah, it's super hot inside at this point. I'm going to hold the door open. Well, we did get the uh, name your area, name your faction, name your area. So it will be the Racial Harmony faction and this will be Desert Home. Hopefully we can maintain Racial Harmony and not fall into disharmony and disunion. Because that would be unfortunate. Regardless, we'll carry on. I'm hoping to get some beds made for everybody here before too long. Well, there's a mod update. That's not an event. Alright, I got beds built. I gave the orc and the beast man the cot. The dwarf has a nice dowy bed. And then the other two I gave human beds to. Let's go with vanilla beds on that. We are getting raided. I don't know where they are. They're down there. And we stand over here. Let's see. Oh, it's one Ungor. <laughs> we don't... Annoying voice, great memory, and nervous. Well, hopefully we can... Where's our wizard? What's he got? Winter Frost. All right, we should be able to hit him with this. Oh, yeah. That did some damage. Look at that. He lost his whole leg to Frostmite. <laughs> And the orc Shuda opened up on his ass. That's our only... Oh, we have Mantle of Gorok. Where's our other guys? They're way over here. All right, you... I don't know if I have running gun. We're going to find out. You creep over here, dwarfy. Oh, you're Cobra. I want, I want you, Mr. Dwarf. The dwarf has such armor. He's never going to... Oh. <laughs> All right, that's problem solved. What's your gear looking like, partner? Uh, no. And he's, he's with the cloven ones. We're never going to make friends with him. I think we'll just stick him in the ground. Another soul buried. We might have to claim some of this geothermal at some point. I don't know where to start the graveyard. Can I put it in here? I could put it in either one of these. We can't really do much with this sandy area. Soft sand. So let's do that. And then we'll just let everybody go about their day. Somebody come finish this dude off. And I'm working on a better butcher table. We did kill a tortoise. Well, this is our second social fight. <laughs> Look at that. Cobra didn't even get injured, but Wallace has taken yet another beating. 
I believe Thalburn here is our doctor and he's way... Oh, you know what? We can make Cobra do that tending. Does, that doesn't make any difference in terms of social, does it? They're rivals and it's only getting worse. <laughs> yeah, that makes no difference. I don't even think he had fully recovered from the last ass kicking that drow had given him. <laughs> Is a dude in a wizard's robe <laughs> fighting a dark elf in power armor. Alright, Thalburn has some more magic ability. I don't even know what I'm going for here. We could summon a Jabba's life. Devolve. Bestial Surge will make us really fast. Mantle of Gorok. You don't get to pick your first spell. This will turn somebody into probably a Berserk Rage. Uh, this does a lot of damage, but it's really short range. Bray Scream. Uh, let's go for Savage Dominion. I can summon a Jabber Slythe. See if we can't schmuck somebody. And this room, constantly filthy. I'm thinking about building a freezer. I just need to lay out a proper base here. That Ungor needs to be buried. Where'd the grave go? The grave is there. Hopefully somebody goes and puts him in there. I'm going to leave his bow. We certainly don't want that coming inside. Oh, here. There's a drow and an orc just hanging out chatting. <laughs> what do you think they're talking about? Playing poker? Gauntlets? <laughs> Cobra, come back in and do a bunch of cleaning if you might. Let's make sure Wallace did some meditation. He's doing alright. I did put a meditation spot in, so he had a spot to do that for the time being. So mood seemed to be okay for the minute. Slept in the heat. That sucks. I can't... I've held these doors open multiple times. It gets really cold at night, stays really warm during the day. I might have to get a research table going, but I guess we could... Oh, here comes our rice. Ooh, yeah, it might be time for cooking and food storage. I think they're still running around ripping up floors. They are. I was hoping to get that done first. The rice will keep for a while. We just need somewhere to put it. So let's expand this out. I built a bunch of candles because we had a bunch of animal fat that was going to go bad. So why not? They last like, I don't know, six days maybe. No, clearly more than that. Maybe eight days from the time you build them. All right, Wallace is fully healed. Has he taken any permanent injuries yet? That's a no. Fantastic. 88 degrees inside is pretty significant though. What are these? Flagstone. I guess we'll just leave that. Good, Thalburn's actually doing some cleaning here. At some point, I'll put a cleaning zone in, but for now, I think we're all right. Yeah, food storage is going to be critical. Stone bread lasts a long time. These meals do not. There's an iguana. We will hunt every single animal that has the cojones to wander onto this map. And we'll see how we do with this rice. I'm going to suspend that job for the minute, too. I don't want him cooking up all the rice right away. We can't preserve it. The rice will keep on its own. So for now, I'll just micromanage that, but it's not ideal. Literally, I'm just waiting for them to get all this shit picked up. Let's get this moved, this moved. So that's the current plan. What's that? Some kind of different ground. Okay. I've decided to work on a research table and a stone cutter's table. I'm going to build the Dawi versions, which I think is the reason that the dwarf is... Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> so Thalburn the Beastman and Dirtle the Orc are in a fight. <laughs> We've had a lot of fights, man. He's got a lot of bruises. All right, good. They're both getting tended. There goes our medicine. I don't think medicine's going to grow wild here. I haven't seen any around or I would have started harvesting it. Need to get some research going. We can't build a cooler yet, so I was going to start working on a freezer situation, but that's just not a possibility. So maybe I can do a cook room and a food storage room over here somewhere. So let's put another dumping stockpile somewhere near these blocks so I can get them moved. Maybe over here. And we'll get those. Anything on the road moved. These can go as well. 
All right, let's make sure everybody was tended. Yes, but not well. And yes, all right, fantastic. I'll get that stuff taken care of. Uh, I should probably put in my cleaning, so I'm going to wait till I get this next room built. Why aren't we building this? The dwarf is. All right, so what should we research? We need to be able to make an air conditioner. Let's research that. Uh, so Adeptus Mechanicus Armory pushes up the research screen like this. And it's not obvious how to close it anymore because the button's gone. But you just hit escape and it closes. Are you researching? Yeah, okay. So anybody will use it. It just takes a dwarf to build it. And like I said, I'm going to lay out some food area over here. Hopefully we have somebody set to craft as well. Mm, yeah. Well, I've laid out food storage, butchering, cooking. I'm going to keep the cooking area cold. Hopefully we have enough sandstone. It looks like they've delivered everything. They're just working on getting the construction done. Can also set up a bill here to make any stone blocks forever, given our little radius. That should be good. And the cleaning proceeds. I think it's time to set up a cleaning zone too. So we'll go for this area, this area, uh, these are going to be for vents over here. So then I guess that area can be the cleaning zone. And just so that it's obvious, we'll call it that. And this down here is the cleaning mod indicator on where to clean. Now, Wallace is wide open researching how to make an air conditioner for us. I tweaked his work. Dirtle, Thalburn still injured, looking good, <laughs> getting a bit beat up over time here, mostly by ourselves. This, uh, hmm, should we refuel that? Can you refuel it? All right, so we have no wood. Now, can I build wood campfires out of different stuff? No. Let's see what happens if I do that. Will somebody build that? Need wood. So this other wood does nothing. That's what that's telling me. We're going to be in trouble because of that. <laughs> uh, I guess we need to start harvesting as many cacti as we can. That's going to be a problem. I should get a trade beacon set up sooner rather than later so we can leverage some of the space trade. Alright, that is an update to a mod again. It's weird how those just pop in once in a while. But okay. Alright, not a lot of wood here. But we won't need it for too much longer. We do need to be able to cook some meals here. We still have stone bread, packet survival meals yet, so that's okay. So this, no, we don't want... And they should refuel it once they get the wood brought in. The beds have helped. This room is slightly impressive now because we built these dwarven items in here. <laughs> I haven't seen a single block get broken down. And let's see why that is. Grack is constructing. That's important. And Thalburn is also going to construct. So if I get anybody idle, then I will make them do stone block work but if I don't oh he had some cheese in his pocket yet yeah, where'd you get that okay it was just a one-off thing so we're out of cheese we really need some power I was torn I we don't have any components maybe we should find some components to mine <laughs> assuming there are some about that looks right there like what we're looking for any others that weird orange color might not be able to survive on this map because we just don't... Oh, there's some steel left over from me not finding it when I deleted everything on the map. But it's made it this long. We're committed to it, so we'll take it. Yeah, we're not going to end up with a shit ton of components. Do we have anybody set to mine? Dirtle, Cobra, and Thalburn. Yeah. 
All right, we already have somebody mining. Perfect. And they're making good progress on this. Once we get the research done, we should have the components together. We should be able to do what we need to do. This is outside of the area for the butchering. So let's consider that and move it out a bit. There you go. Hopefully it doesn't rot once we get the freezer in place. I'm going to go ahead and give them the roof order here. And I guess we might as well start working on some kind of floors in here too. Look at that. Oh, those guys are making good friends. The human and the dwarf, empire and dwarves are allied per usual. I think one of those is a female. We might get a human dwarf relationship here. <laughs> That'd be entertaining. All right, I'm going to go and drop in some floors. Where's our components, meanwhile? Where the hell were those at? There's some wood. Let's get all the wood on the map hall, then. It says there's 334. There's components over there. Oh, we have four in storage. Is that all we got for our mining efforts? Yeah, that's pretty piss poor. We might not be able to build too much. Might not be able to make all the coolers I think we're going to need. I'm going to try and make three straight away because who wants to muck around with it? Meanwhile, the research proceeds. Only a dwarf will build, build proper dwarven floors, it looks like, but I did concrete this area. And I'm putting in some sterile tiles in the cooking area. Hopefully we don't run out of steel. Shouldn't be long before we have to do some mining I'm sure but there seems to be ooh uh, let's get everybody over here let's see if we can't kill this dude what else do we have for wildlife a lion and a roo alright you open up on it here it comes Wallace you shouldn't be in the front hit it with the winter frost down it goes <laughs> let's see what dropped it uh, we gave frostbite on the neck but a whole lot of bullet wounds really I'm gonna allow bodies in here because they're sitting outside right now we'll just allow all animals for now it's fine let's make sure our, this is important and this is normal so the body should come in and why aren't we butchering we're a little short on meals let's see if he'll cook yeah you should cook over research so big old lion getting butchered that's nuts okay so anybody will build a dwarven floor doesn't have to be a dwarf that answers that question oh we can build a nice stove in here we're gonna have to get electricity set up before we can <laughs> actually use it but that's okay we'll get that we ended up with 16 components total. And we haven't done our research yet, so we can make our coolers. I think they take three each, though. We can build more candles. And yeah, maybe we'll do that. We have the materials sitting around, so why not? All that fat's going to go bad. I can tell them to use fat for meals. Candles are a good temporary solution. Does this guy have any magic points available yet? No. Somehow Thalburn received one already. I don't know how. Some travelers passing by. So for power, we're not going to have many options. We're going to have to research batteries next. Let's see. Everything's screwy over here. Can't do any kind of wood or chem fuel generators. It literally just leaves us with wind turbines, which in the desert isn't a bad thing. Man, this is going to be rough. <laughs> Mostly due to components right now. If these things get smashed, I'm going to be in big trouble too. It's not a good spot to put them that I can defend them. I'm trying to put them more towards the center so they're more easy to defend. And nothing's going to grow in these sections, but we may end up building across there. I think what we'll do is put one there. A one there so those two should be okay and then we also should be able to do some power conduit across there and on into this zone all right hopefully that covers everything we're gonna need 
Steel wise, we're boned, so we're gonna have to go find some steel to mine. There we go. So let's go ahead and vein mine one of these. And everybody's asleep again. Did our lights get built? They did. So we do have. I don't even light those whole spaces, but that's okay. I do want to put some furniture in there. This door also is going to be set to hold open. And I want a table in this zone. What do we have for blocks left? Looks like we have a good amount of limestone yet. So maybe I'll just put a little Dowie limestone table. Just somewhere they can sit and have a meal. And stool wise, let's do some limestone regular stools in there too. Maybe I'll move that stuff around at some point. So I'd like to just dump the bodies in there, but we'll probably end up keeping bodies in here anyway. We're almost done with that research. We're going to need somewhere to put our batteries. So this has power now. Let's go ahead and copy the bills out of here and paste them into here. How much power do we have? Fair amount. Let's go check our wildlife situation. There's nothing. Wasted some material by Dirtle, trying to construct. This we can reinstall over here at this point. Don't want to put any food in here until we have these walls blocked up, lest it d deteriorate. But we're almost there. We have 12 components, which should be sufficient. Need batteries. Yep, I'm aware, dude. All right, we're getting there. So far, we haven't had any more mental issues. Insulted. Son of a bitch. Who's doing this insulting? Wallace and Cobra are just at each other's throats. Once again, they're social fighting over at the mines. He got a bruise. He got a bite and a bruise. Or two. Was it a crack? Man, these dudes. I'm going to power this all up. And hopefully we can build batteries. These do take three components. I don't know how many batteries I'm going to be able to build. Some visitors passing by. I keep checking the wildlife tab, but we don't have anything. Doing a power loop here for a bit of redundancy. And we'll need to set up some beds at some point here too. Meanwhile, everybody's going back to bed. Was everybody tended? Yes, and yes, fantastic. Power is kicking pretty stinking well though. The crops, we're about to get another round of rice. It's probably safe to move our food into here at this point as well. So let's go ahead and copy these settings, pop them into there. That's already important. So we do want to allow, should be food and animal corpses. We don't really want to butcher mechs or chaos, well chaos for the hide. We just don't want to cook with their meat. At some point that's going to happen. So let's put a dumping stockpile over here in the desert. So this is kind of a bad idea because if animals eat this meat, they will go mad. But we'll see how that goes. All right, food, raw food, meat. Insect meat won't even be in the game because there aren't insects. The dwarf mod replaces that with Skaven. So we really just want chaos meat here. If we can find it in this massive list. There you go. All right, we have new magic points for Wallace as well. That's one thing I was waiting on. So we could save up and try and get regenerate. We could also go for a uh, life bloom actually takes two. So we're just kind of boned for now. <laughs> There's not a lot we can do. All right, we have one cooler. Bam, bam, bam. Get that bastard down to 16 degrees Fahrenheit, which is neg nine Celsius. Same for this one. And we need to get this closed off ASAP. I think we're out of steel. We have one component. I don't think we're making any batteries with one component. We are harvesting some potatoes right now. I'm going to go ahead and put a second vein mine order on for another lot of steel. We might as well just mine it all. It's right there. That's going to be fine. All right. So we have a freezer now. And I've double walled it. All right. Get all this stuff 
done. Get this stuff all hauled over to the freezer. So next up, we're going to go for bedrooms. Now hopefully this works for us. I'll probably put the bedrooms over here. I don't know what we'll end up doing with this building over here. We might end up deconstructing it at some point. Cheers to the patrons. Alexander, Viking, Brandon, Chu, On Disc, Cobra, Samurai, Corneal, Bodar, Dapper, Go, Dirtle, Dave, Thauburn, Dimitri, Rurikid, Zazzle, Excelsior, Frederick, Garrett, Hemlock, Henry Wallace, Josh Grace, Michael Rakestraw, Mike Ferrero, Shiggy, Natasio, Tyron X, Typhus, you guys are fantastic. Let's get all this stuff put away before the animals show up. Although, if we attract some animals, at least we'll have some meat. And I think we can probably prioritize fine meals as well. Okay, we don't have anybody that can cook them yet, but it's just a matter of time. Do forever. Keep a little ingredient radius, and I'm going to put in a single one too, in case we have some extra material that needs to be used up some point I'll adjust these if we start getting a fair amount of meat, but it looks like that's going to be pretty sparse here. What is Grack doing? Should be making blocks. He is fantastic. Yeah, we're definitely going to need bedrooms. We're definitely going to need more components. I'm going to have to search around. I think we're going to be boned. <laughs> uh, can we do comms consoles? Not without components, obviously, but no, we can't do it yet. And now our freezer doesn't have juice. So we need to get those batteries done ASAP. And that's what Wallace is working on researching. I haven't been doing a very good job of managing moods. It's not in darkness here. Nobody's cold, but that's good. So we don't always have power, but when we do, it's cool. Hopefully our cleaner comes through soon. We're getting more rice. I might be overproducing vegetables for the minute, but that's okay. Keeping an eye on wildlife, too. I like to just keep that tab up if nothing else is up. We could also use a cleaner, man. Grack. Why don't you sweep through and just clean the piss out of this joint? There's a tile there that I missed. Anything else over here? There's always something else. Uh, what's the room looking like right now? It's slightly impressive, despite that one missing floor. I'm just going to let it go for now. And the power is spotty enough that it's not consistent. You go ahead and clean. This room stays pretty stinking cold too because this isn't double walled. Hmm. I think I'm going to readjust all this stuff. So if we just pop this over here, we should be able to move this table. I'm going to do some more double walling. And we can, I don't know, do something with our light. Someone's actually showing up to do the work. At some point, we'll just... Dude, somebody must have that reserve, right? Because you're not doing it. Did I do build copy? No, that was a reinstall. I don't know why you didn't do it. Damn it, I did. All right, well, there's your issue. Reinstall, there you go. And the stool has really nowhere to go. <laughs> Stick it in here for now. It's fine. Maybe we'll get another pawn. And then we're going to double all this up. Just to keep this room not so cold. I might put that table somewhere else. Maybe we'll build a proper eating space. I don't know. Over here or somewhere. I might install them. Oh, okay. I do have the uninstall anything mod going. So, we can shove these things around if we need to. Well, please leave a like if you're enjoying. Leave a comment. I do respond. I appreciate you guys spending some time with me today. It has been fun. This is an interesting one, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright, that should keep the cold in there. Yeah, now it is 60-something. That's going to help this stay colder, too, and therefore preserve the food longer. We're getting all these blocks broken down, which is fantastic. We have another lot of them over here. So next up, we'll focus on getting everybody a proper bedroom. If the raids start getting intense, then I'll swap gears. and Because I can just kind of wall this off in some weird ways and make bedrooms in here. But I don't want to do that. I'd rather just properly build shit. I'm going to try and build the bedrooms 
in terms of the furniture in there and the style specific to the race of the person that's sleeping in there. So some cloth walls for the orc and the beast man. Something proper for the dwarf. The empire guy can actually have empire walls, assuming we have that research done. We do. Oh. The Namza nation is going to go prepare for a while. Oh, shit. I don't think that's much of a threat, considering our equipment. It said they're going to prepare for a while, right? Yeah. All right. We should probably bring everybody back, but we'll do that next time. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Once again, spending some time with me today. I'll see you all next time.